This video covers Power SDR KE9NS version 2.8.0.54 and a new feature I've added which is an SWR uh, scanner. Uh, it's for the Flex 5000 and the 3000 because the 1500 does not have a SWR meter. So not only does it uh, scan for SWR across the band but it also will plot it on the screen and will also save it so you can recall it even when you shut down Power SDR and open it back up again it'll save it into a file. So open up the scanner and every band you're on th these fields automatically populate with the with the band edges. Uh, just kind of generic high and low ends of the band and you can change the frequency uh, within the band so I don't necessarily have to start at 24.93 I could highlight this and change that to uh, start at 24.94 if I want so I don't have to start start at the bandage uh, especially on the bigger bands which could take take a while and in my step uh, it's always in kilohertz for 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 the SWR scan you always want to do it in kilohertz steps uh, nothing in between so one two three or four kilohertz uh, for every step if you start like I'm doing here four kilohertz it will just fill in those gaps with the, the previous SWR reading. Um, I'll take an SWR reading and then I'll jump 4 kilohertz and I'll just fill in the 3 kilohertz in between with the same SWR reading. And then the scan speed, you don't want to go below 250 uh, because it, it starts um, having trouble reading the SWR. So uh, I'd say, you know, no lower than 250 milliseconds. So uh, this this button here is the original button just for receive scanning which you know you can pause on squelch and so forth but this is transmit here transmit only and then this checkbox here is to display any results we get uh, up here in the screen so if I go to another band let's say 40 meters this is showing me the results I ran last time uh, 1.6, 1.5, 1.4 and this is for antenna 3 which is my G5RV if I change antennas on the Flex 5000 it saves it separately so I can go in and if I have another antenna it will it goes away because I I don't have another antenna for 40 but I do for 20 meters on 20 meters uh, right here you're seeing uh, my beam my Yagi for antenna 1 but then antenna 3 is a G5RV and I don't think I've got I guess I didn't record any data on that yet so we can record some data for antenna 3 so uh, it's gonna start at 14 megahertz and work up at 4 kilohertz steps so I go ahead and it'll drop the tune level down to 10 watts and now it's recording and so you can see this is my G5RV SWR and it's color coded uh, SWR of um, 1 to 1 uh, to up to 2 to 1 is um, green and then from 2 to 3 is yellow and then 3 and above is red as it's displayed on the screen here and then it's recording it here also showing you the um, all the readings it's taking at what frequency okay and it reached the other end of the band and then stopped and if it's not allowed to transmit it won't it'll just move on to the next because uh, I know certain countries can't transmit certain portions of the band so it'll just skip across those areas that um, that it can't transmit so it's done and this is recorded now and then if I power down I power back up this will be here whenever I turn on the SWR and, it, and like for the Flex 5000, if I go back to my other antenna, now it shows me the SWR reading I had on the other antenna. And it records for every one. So for here, I could have three different antennas. So it will, re it will record the data for those three different antennas. And then if I go to a band and it's empty and this checkbox is on, that means I haven't recorded anything for this, uh, for this band yet. And antenna 3, that's my G5. So I could go ahead and hit the... Um, hit the button there and then that will do a recording and uh, not bad my G5 is about 1.2 to 1 across <laughs> across the 12 meter band wow okay so 
that's pretty good. But that's it. Uh, you can leave it on with the scanning window closed if you want. But um, you don't really need to leave that on all the time. And then it saves it into a file. The file, if you right click up here on the call sign, the water ID call sign box, just right click. And then that's going to open up a, um, a folder. And in that folder, that's where your database is. And uh, also you'll see that file, the, the KE9NS SWR file, and that's where the um, SWR data is kept. And then when you shut down, it saves all the new data that you just created here. And then when you open Power SDR back up, it'll reload it back in. So then you can just simply go up and click on the display SWR and, uh, and view your past results. If you want to compare them to what you're currently doing, let's say, you know, this is what I recorded last time. I could just then hit the tune button, look at my SWR and see uh, what I'm getting now to make sure it's what I had last time. But that's it.